Hey guys, it's Stafford Show back with another video and today I have a case from Andabil. Um, uh, they've been a great supporter of the channel and they said they had a new case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So uh, I had said yes, yeah, send it over and I, I wanted to check it out. So here it is. This is their Easy Relax Gym Case and uh, they named it like that because after over a week of use, um, I think it fits the bill. It's very easy to use. It's really good. It provides functions that you need for relaxing, and it, it's got a, an, it's got something that will really help you while work out while you're at the gym. Uh, so this is an updated version to the previous version they had for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm gonna just show that right here. Um, as you can see, it's it's a little different. Um, there's actually no branding on the new version right here, uh, and they made this one crystal clear. There is there is a clear hard TPU back version of this one as well. Um, but this was one of my favorite cases for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, I never took it off once I got it. I, it was just what I've been using, what I use every day. Um, so with this, I've been using it every day for over a week and it's it's been a joy to use. Um, I'll, I'll give you some thoughts after, but what makes this special is that uh, there's a lot of cases with a similar design. Like I have this one from Case Coop. Um, it's got the similar, the similar look and feel. Uh, but the thing with the Case Coop uh, is that the sides are rounded, even um, all around from the back to the sides. There's a curve. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there, but you feel it in the hand. But what I liked about this case is the sides are actually flat, so it actually feels more squared and easier to hold. Like it's not the thinnest case, I'll, I'm gonna say that, but because it's square and the line, the edges are a little more sharper, uh, it does make it easier to hold. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna just unbox really quick the box right here. Uh, that's the stuff on the back. Um, it does have military grade protection. So it'll give you a little over six feet worth of drop protection. Uh, and as I'm unboxing it, you know, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, hit the like button if you felt this video help, was helpful and uh, hit the bell notification. I do have a lot of um, cases that are in the pipeline for me to look at and show you guys. So you'll get bell notif you'll get notifications when those videos go live and leave a comment below if you have any questions. So this case, what's cool about it is not just, you know, the protection and how great it feels in the hands, but it's also its ability to customize your case. Um, so the buttons and the side, the gel pads here um, that kind of give it the cushioning are removable. But first, let's put the phone in. I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I want to just kind of give you guys a look at an overview of what it looks like. So there is the lay on the table protection. I do have a tempered glass screen shield. The bottom cutouts, a good generous cutout for the USB-C port. And there is some camera protection. So actually a decent amount, a little more than most. And the buttons are clicky. And the bill always has good clicky buttons. Uh, but yeah, so, and the stand. Uh, it's a rotating stand, which is my favorite function of this case uh, because it, it's easy to use. It just pulls out really easily uh, and it rotates really well. And what I love about this is that this ring, if you've seen my previous video from last year's case, I'll leave a link below, it's magnetic. So any metal surface this will attach to. So that's why I think this is a great product to use when you're at the gym working out because if you're gonna record yourself working out or record a TikTok video or something like that, you can just stick this on to any metal surface and it'll stick and you'll be able to record your workout and you know kind of track your progress so i think that's a really great addition uh to what uh, to this case and what and did was very smart it does stick out a little bit you do feel it but it's not to the point where if you're holding it it's uncomfortable so there's that now just want to go to the customization here uh really quick so uh these are the sides and the buttons so i'm gonna just do one color, let's just dump these all out. And then I wanna, 
kind of, I'll just, you know, do like a little cut with, you know, each color showing what it looks like so that you don't have to sit through me changing everything out for every single color. So I'm going to get the phone out on frame. Uh, let's get this out. And I love black, so let's go with the black. So we're just going to pop the lock these buttons out. Now, I'm not going to lie. These buttons are not the easiest to get out. It does require a good amount of effort and force to pull them out. But I think that's for the benefit of the actual um, buttons so that you're not having things rattling around and popping out so easily because you don't want these popping out when you take the phone out and you know eventually losing something so that's kind of how you take the buttons out now these gel pads you kind of want to just go in with your finger and just kind of just pull it out like that and they just come out really smooth kind of it's only three pieces so it's not a lot of work but I think once you find the color that you like um, you should be good so we have a completely clear case I mean I guess you could rock it like this too but I don't think uh, it'll look too great so uh, so there's the navy the gray and the pink so i just want to show you the colors up close so you get an idea at first i thought the navy was black but it is the uh, but it actually is a a very dark like a midnight navy blue so actually i'm gonna go with the gray because i have the the gray titanium so you want to make sure that these sides with the lines goes on the inside of the case and you just want to kind of put it in like so Just take your time and just kind of massage it in. And as you're pushing it, you'll feel it kind of stick, cl uh, clip in to the sides. Now I just didn't line it up correctly, my apologies. Sorry if this is painstaking, but uh, just for this color, uh, just want to make sure it's lined up. And just kind of Put it all in. There we go. And then we'll just get the corners here. And then get this corner. Kind of hard to do on camera, sorry. Just trying to do this while also making it as visible for you guys as possible. Okay. And then the buttons. So we'll start with the lock button. Or the sleep wake button. And the volume up and down. Now, when you look at the buttons, you'll see that it's kind of there's a you can figure out kind of which way it goes in. So, this part, the shorter part, will go in facing outwards. And then, where is the action button? Huh. I seem to be missing the action button. It's okay. Uh, I know it's here somewhere. Uh, my po oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. It's all in. Let's get the phone in. Kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like now with the gray. 
and there you go it fits perfectly has a nice look to it uh, I think I like this gray better than the white for sure for me but yeah uh, I'm gonna cut real quick and kind of come back and show you guys the other colors all right guys so this is what it looks like with the navy blue on now this looks nice too it has a nice contrast with um, the natural titanium color mm. so I think that's what's great about this case is it's got all these different colors so you can kind of make a little contrast okay I'm gonna switch out to the pink be right back all right guys the last color here's the pink which actually looks pretty nice actually if you think about it um, I honestly wish there was a way that they made this color Mm, I don't even know what color it could have been, but I know it does kind of stick out with the pink. It doesn't really match 100% well, but I think it's, uh, they did a great job with this case of making it uh, in a way that is personal to you. So good job, Vanderbilt, on this case. Uh, I'll have everything linked below. Uh, one last thing, the important thing is we gotta check the MagSafe strength. So, I have my Apple MagSafe charger, and Andabillo has always been great uh, when it comes to MagSafe. Their mag, their rings have always been really strong, and I'll show you guys. Picks it right up, and we do have a charge. And there we go. Um, I've not had any issues using this with my desktop stand and also with my car mount in the car so uh yeah it's going to be great now one thing with this ring stand here that uh, i think might bother some people i talked about in my case coup case review is that when you have magsafe with these kind of stands a lot of times it'll just pop off like that um It'll come off with that, and that be, can be kind of annoying. So I just want to uh, recommend possibly to leave the case with the hinge upward. That way, because most times when you're taking it off, uh, actually, I'm sorry, the hinge up on the bottom. That way, usually if you're it's on a stand or a car mount, when you take it off, you just go bottom front, bottom upward, bottom up like this, and the ring won't pop out. But it's a minor convenience. Uh, but for me, like the functionality provides way more than uh, the annoyance that this might have of kind of lifting up when taking off, taking it off the MagSafe mount or whatever. But so yeah, again, I'll have everything linked below. If you do want to use this case or get this case, please use my affiliate links. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thank you to Andabil for sending this out. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Take it easy.